Okay guys, welcome to another tutorial. I'll be working on the Victoria 4 Omni Suit in its third resolution. I'll be using a uh, UV Mapper, which is what this tutorial is all about. Uh, we're just going to do a really quick run through of how this works. UV Mapper with uh, the V4 Omni Suit th third resolution. This is not going to be anything fancy. This isn't going to be the kind of thing that you want to like memorize for the rest of your life. This is just quick stuff and it mostly just goes for this one suit and it mostly goes only if you're using UV Mapper. That's if you don't have anything else to map with. Because really, UV Mapper is your bottom barrel. Very free, and it's very useful. Extremely useful, in fact. But for only doing UV Maps, not so much. Almost everybody's going to use something else. But, let's just try just to use UV Mapper and see what we can get away with. Because there are some pretty cool stuff you can do, some, you can do in here. Uh, so with that said, let's pop it open. UV Mapper. Again, I'm going to be working from the desktop, so everything's saved right there. And just file, load model, find your model. Lots of good info there. You'll learn that as you go along. Yes, you want to correct it. It's going to tell you there's an error opening the material library. That's because there isn't a material library. The suit didn't come with, for, come with anything. It's pretty much for you guys to learn from. So, I didn't stick anything in there that I didn't think you might not use. Uh, first thing... I'm doing planner mapping, which is a straight head-on flat map. Uh, no curves, no nothing, everything's straight in your face. First thing I'm going to do, pop all this open. I'm going to try for z-axis and vertical, and just click OK. And I'm going to press don't split also. Gaps in map won't even matter. And what you get is this nice forward view of it, and that's great. That's what you want. So this is what the suit looks like as it's put together. And that's great, but we're going to need a side view, and then we're going to need to cut it in half. So we have a front and a back view. So what we're going to do is go to New new UV Map Planner again, uh, try for the x-axis, and we can do vertical, but it's not really going to matter. Try horizontal. Don't split again. Click OK. This this will work. Uh, so what we're then going to do, click, scroll, drag, try to get just the front or the back, it doesn't matter which one. Grab it like that, you're going to go to edit, guess what, <laughs> planner map again. Okay, I'm um, going to do vertical again, this time z-axis, and don't split, but you want the result scaled, so you click OK. And that's going to give you this tiny little map that's way over here, it's really small. Uh, next thing you're going to do, grab this lower half, you're going to do the same thing again, so just new UV map planner, you'll have the same thing set up, so just click OK. And that gives you this other tiny little map. So what you're going to do is drag them right next to each other, or at least try to. I know they're really small, but try to line them up together. And so what we're going to do is select both of them, and then try to resize them. So just click, scroll, drag. do the same thing all over again. Oops. And if you miss, start over again. I missed some uh, faces there, so I had to start over. Alright. Right click to finish, to finish that up. And as you can see, you're set, you're done. Bingo, bango, you got no problems. Or you have a lot of problems if you really wanted something really detailed. Which this isn't. This is not really detailed, guys. This is not the kind of map that you could sell to somebody. Or a template, anyway. You couldn't sell this to anybody. But it's a good place to start. Um, so what we're going to do now is try to do what's called material zoning. You guys know that if you use Dazzle Poser. So uh, what we're going to do is grab, let's say, this section here. And looks like I missed something. But... You know what? I shouldn't care. I'm just doing a tutorial. So yeah, I don't care. So what I'm going to do is go to Assign and assign this to a material. And there aren't any right now. Default mat is just pretty much what every kind of software for 3D will name it. Zones that don't have any sort of material name to them. So uh, what we're going to call this is just bottom. We can call it leg. I don't care. It's your thing. It says it doesn't exist. Do you want to create that material? Sure. Uh, next thing, actually let's turn this on right now, go to color and by material, 
as you can see the red is where your bottom was starting we'll grab this here and we're gonna go edit assign to material this one's gonna be called the middle bet you didn't see that one coming yes we want to create it and look we missed a section oh my goodness what do we do oh no all you do is just select it or select even more of it whatever um, go to edit assign to material and you'll see it in this little scroll thing right here and just select whatever you wanted to assign it to middle okay click off there you go uh, this stuff here at the top since I've got a bottom and a middle guess what I'm gonna call this maybe I'll call it Tucson no I'll just call it top so assign to rock no top why did I press the R two times anyway whatever you click it you want to create the top yes and you click off ta-da RGB <laughs> right RGB no I didn't think it was gonna do RGB but whatever anyway there you go so you do your file and save model export normals all that stuff da 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 this is your main one since you just did materials and that's what this is about yes you want to export materials yes you want the UV mapper regions that's fine normally this stuff doesn't matter these options you're gonna use these eventually but we're not messing with any of this stuff all this stuff is fine just click OK and save it to wherever you had saved it you don't have to overwrite your original model I'm just doing that anyway uh, if you want a template to draw on then you do want to save a map so save texture map you can save it at whatever size you want. Uh, boy, yeah, I don't care. I'm just going to click OK. Have it save it right on the desktop. And at this point, I can close this and get done. OK, over here in Poser, what we're going to do is File, Import. And you're going to use the Wavefront object. You're going to turn off all the, op all the options. All the options. Click OK. It'll import and there's the suit right there what we're gonna do really quick is check to make sure the material zones are there so just click one uh, we see the bottom right there so just switch the color to anything And if you see it changing you know that's pretty much it you got it so you're pretty much set but just make sure yep alright alright outfit is a go now we need to rig it okay then head over into the setup room just click yes when it brings that warning up. What you're going to do is go for the development foundation. You just double click that. It'll pop some bones in there. Uh, what you then need to do is click the grouping tool and click auto group. And that'll assign a whole lot of groups in here that Victoria normally has. Close everything down. Head out to the pose room. See how she works. Okay, so the suit's there, so what we're going to do is just conform to Victoria 4. Looks okay so far. Give her a pose. Alright, so we're going to try this pose here. And there we go. Now, you see there's jagged parts poking out, but that's for another tutorial. But the basic gist is you got it done. Thanks for watching.